Welcome back to Poker Celeb. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Cardi B and Bella Porch beefing with each other. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. The build-up singer and TikTok icon Bella Poach claimed that she woke up to a feud she didn't start on August 12th. Not intentionally, at least. On the release date of her Dolls EP, her Twitter caught a lot of surprised fans' attention when she seemed to diss Cardi B, and naturally Cardi was quick to clap back. Watch till the end to find out more about this. First of all, you may already know Bella from her previous drama. In case you missed it, the rumor started after Bella filmed a TikTok video alongside Tyga in September last year. The pair made videos dancing to his songs, and in the background of the clip, you can see a house which apparently is Tyga's Los Angeles mansion. A few weeks after the TikTok videos were posted, a sex tape of two people that were allegedly Tyga and Bella leaked from OnlyFans. Fans speculated that it was recorded shortly after they had been hanging out on TikTok. Now, there was no actual evidence that the two people in the sex tape were Tyga or Bella, but that didn't stop the internet from running with it. Neither Bella nor Tyga responded to the rumors at the time, but now Bella has basically confirmed that it was all just a rumor. The TikTok star was taking part in the Two Truths and a Lie challenge on TikTok, whereby the user has to highlight one lie and two truths about themselves. Bella's lineup included this. Griffin Johnson tried to slide into my DMs. I made a sex tape with Tyga and I was adopted. She highlighted the I made a sex tape with Tyga part in red, meaning that it was all a lie, yet fans weren't so sure about that. The same way that they aren't sure of the thing that's happening between her and Cardi. The whole thing started in the replies to a at pop crave tweet sharing the announcement of Porch's EP dolls. What should have been a celebration quickly turned into mayhem when Porch's account responded to the tweet, saying that her music is better than any Cardi album. Fans from both sides had a lot to say, but the loudest voice in the room was the Queen Cardi herself. Cardi caught the tweet before it inevitably got deleted and responded in the prettiest way she could. Receipts. Her response tweet read, Haha, I got a better one alongside screenshots of Porch sliding into her DMs with fangirl admiration and proof of a mutual follow. But Porch quickly cleared up she's not the only one who posted that tweet. A few hours later, Porch claimed that her account had been hacked. And the hacker sent that Cardi diss. Hey guys, it's Bella. I just woke up to this mess an hour ago and I've been working with Twitter to get back into my account. Someone hacked me while I was asleep, but everything's okay now, she tweeted. Porch concluded her statement by apologizing to Cardi, but the situation got a bit more nuanced the next day. On August 13th, Cardi responded to the apology and shed even more light on what really happened. Yesterday, there was a rude tweet that my fan that I follow posted about this girl Bella Porch, and I replied to it, and it caused a ruckus on social media. She explained in a voice memo. The day after the whole mess unraveled, Cardi explained that Porch's team gave her a call to let her know that Porch had stepped away from social media for a bit. So she wasn't even online when that tweet was posted. Cardi continued to spill on the situation. So she had like a, a social media manager that just uh, do, does retweets and everything and he tweets that because, you know, he thought it was funny and he thought it would get traction. The plot thickens when Cardi revealed that the manager got immediately fired and she has no ill feelings for Porch. Porch hasn't responded to Cardi's side of the story, so this looks like the end of the short-lived feud. But was it a hacker, or was it actually her social media manager, or was it her? That's for fans to decide. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.